with a developing story surrounding NHL star Patrick Kane. The South Buffalo native is under investigation by Hamburg police. Good evening to you. Don is off tonight. News 4 has learned the investigation into Kane concerns an allegation of rape. We have a team of reporters digging into the story and Kane's history with police. We begin with News 4's Jen Schantz with the latest on the investigation. Jen. Well, Jackie, the 26-year-old hockey star grew up in South Buffalo, but owns a home on the waterfront in Hamburg. We stopped by there today looking for answers. Under investigation, Thursday, the NHL confirmed they're aware of an investigation by the Hamburg police involving one of their players, South Buffalo native Patrick Kane. News 4 has confirmed the investigation follows rape allegations made by a woman against Kane. Kane, who was the Blackhawks' first overall draft pick in 2007, has won three Stanley Cup titles. In a statement, the NHL tells News 4, quote, We are aware of a police investigation and are following the developments. The Blackhawks organization had a similar response. Quote, We are aware of the matter and are in the process of gathering information. It would be inappropriate to comment further at this time, their spokesperson tells News 4. Sources confirm Kane was in Buffalo over the weekend. Today, we went to Kane's parents' home in South Buffalo. No one answered. We also stopped by Kane's home in Hamburg. No answer there either. Patrick Kane and his people haven't said a word about this investigation, and they're not alone. Hamburg police tell News 4 until charges have actually been filed, their lips are sealed. Hamburg police and district attorney Frank Sedita won't confirm or deny an investigation. News 4 has filed two FOIL requests with Hamburg police, asking for all complaints and incident reports from August 1st to August 6th, referencing the athlete. Kane is expected to be back here in Buffalo this weekend with the Stanley Cup. We reached out to the Blackhawks to see if that is still the case and haven't heard back from them. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Jen Schantz, News 4 at 5.